Hey everybody, welcome to the start of another cool Adobe Illustrator CS6 mini series here. We're going to start working with graphics in Illustrator and you can do things like we're going to learn things like how to trace the uh, graphics to create and um, to create a vector yourself and that way you can manipulate that yourself and move points around and everything. And we're going to learn how to um, fix appearance attributes, um, edit graphic styles, and among other things in this little series. So stay tuned and keep checking out the uh, videos that are coming up for the graphic series. So let's start out with uh, going over the types of uh, documents you're able to open up, or uh, graphic documents you're able to open up in Illustrator. So you can um, open, um, TIFFs, JPEGs, GIFs, PNGs, there's a lot that you can and to, for me to just name everything off it's kind of a, a long a long list so you can just take a look at this list and either pause the video or um, just go to the website up here if you want to it's on Adobe's website here and this is just a list of the uh, uh, file format supported for opening and placing, both which are form are ways to open or start working on a uh, graphic in Illustrator. So let's get started on the basics of how you're supposed to work on graphics. So the first thing you need to do is open a graphic. So there are two ways to do that. You can either open or place. So go to File to open this one. Go File, Open, and then you can check out your different graphics that you have and pick one, pick one out and then I can hit open and this is already open so it's letting me know that so I'm just gonna hit yes and and now it's open again so I've got two two of them open and they're basically the same thing now you can switch between multiple open uh, graphics by clicking on these tabs and I've got two of the same ones so you can't tell that I'm switching but you can see definitely that this one has a different canvas than the other ones to work on you can open up multiple graphics at the same time to create multiple tabs. So if I go to File, Open, and I just click on these couple ones, and I hit Shift, I hold down Shift to select these, or I can pick hit Control, hold down, sorry about that, hold down Control to select um, uh, what to select uh, objects here that aren't contiguous. I'll hit Open. And some of them couldn't open, and then the rest could. So maybe one of them wasn't a file format that Illustrator supported. But now we've got all these opened up, and we're good to go. So there's you can see multiple tabs that you can click through. The next one that you want to do is um, placing an object. So I'm going to make a, a new canvas here, and I'm going to hit OK. And the way you can just put an object right here without opening it up onto your original canvas is File, and then go to Place, and then go ahead and pick the what you want to use. So let's try this one. And that's pretty big, and I'm able to adjust it. And that's a good thing with Place. It already comes up with the free transform on there, so you can adjust how big you want it to be. And if I just click off, it's there. Easy. It's very easy. Now there's a couple options when you're placing. So if I go to File, Place, and we look down here on the left, we've got a couple options, and I'll let you know what those are. So Link here is um, it places a screened version of the graphic and links the document to the graphic file. So it pretty much saves some space. Um, the next one is Template. And what you can do with that is it places a dimmed version of the graphic on the template layer, and that's for tracing. Um, so if you want to go through and trace. And then the last one is replace. And that, if you have an image selected already, and you click on that, it'll replace the image that you have selected with the image that you selected in here. So if I clicked on this, went to File, Place, and then I um, picked this one maybe, and I hit replace. I don't need to link it, but if I hit replace and hit place, it's yep, it changes it out. So that's what replace does. 
So that's about all I want to go over with you on um, how to open up and place your graphics. And uh, that's basically just the starting point from which we're going to start out. In the next one, I'm going to, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, trace raster graphics. And we'll learn all about that. And doing that can save you a lot of time in having to create your own images and stuff like that. So thanks a lot for watching. Give a thumbs up if you liked. And um, be sure to subscribe to get more notifications on when the new videos come out. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good day.